Hey guys and welcome to DevBlock 3. So since last time I worked on adding some info texts, which I'm going to show in a moment. Uh, the purpose of them is to allow the user to get some kind of a tip or something when, uh, whenever certain things happen, like when they pick up a gun for the first time or uh, if they need to learn how to climb or something like that. Um, so that will uh, come in handy, I think. Um, so what you also can see here is that I've been working a, quite a bit with uh, the streaming levels. You can see I broke up this little test level here into some pieces. So I have the start area here. I have kind of a middle or a transition section. And then I have a rock passage of a kind here. Um, so all this stuff here is getting loaded and unloaded on demand, uh, which will be completely uh, transparent to the player. Um, so since I'm playing this in the editor uh, in a moment, you will see a little hitch when I pass this area here. Uh, and that is only uh, noticeable when I play it in the editor. So in the package game, it's, it's not going to be visible at all. So what also happens is that all the dynamic actors, which I call them, uh, they are going to get the state persisted uh, in between um, streaming levels. So when I pass into the rock passage here, uh, they are going to be frozen or hidden. So they will uh, kind of stay where they are, even though the entire streaming level uh, where they are in is going to be unloaded. So for example, when this happens, uh, the guys up here, they are not going to fall through the ground. Uh, I'm making sure of that. And uh, same go goes for all the weapons that have stashed around in the level like here. Um, so all that stuff is being taken care of. Um, so you're also going to see I added some foliages. Uh, I have some issues with the performance for them uh, at the moment, but it's something I'm going to uh, eventually figure out a, a solution for. And if not, I um, may have to leave it as a kind of an option to disable or enable them. Um, so this is, by the way, how the, the actual level looks. Um, right, so also one uh, last thing I added was uh, logic to control the load and save of the game. Which, which was kind of a big thing to handle. It seems like an, a, a kind of a trivial thing uh, to begin with, but as I kind of got into how I wanted it to work, I actually figured out that it was quite a few things I had to handle. So um, sort of works. I still have to do some testing with it, um, but enough talking. Uh, let's have a play here with it and see how it works. Okay, right, so the first time I pick up something, well, not that one, apparently, like this one, you can see the text on the screen here, guns can be picked up, blah, blah, blah. And if I empty the mag, you're going to get this uh, instruction, shoot outside to reload. So I'm just going to do that and fire again. So this tooltip here is set up to show two times. So when I reload and shoot next time, it's not going to show up after that. So they all the info text they can be configured as as I want them to be. Uh, oh yeah, and one additional thing you will notice is that I added some um, range grab logic, which is kind of a comfort thing, but also going to be very handy, I think generally so it allows you to just pick things up at a distance and they will fly into your hands um, that's very neat um, right now the ai is gonna is actually set to shoot so you're probably gonna die in a moment um, just gonna grab a few things and where do i put the other gun 
I drop it somewhere. Oh, right, great. Um, so let's shoot up some people. This text says it's a custom info box, so this is a t info text that can be triggered in the level at certain uh, events. So in this case, it was a yeah trigger box, uh, and the same goes for this one. Okay, so now we ooh, take in care of those guys. I apparently triggered another one. I'm just gonna take him out. Not. Okay, so this load and save mechanism, um, see here I can hit save and I can select either to override this one it's going to ask you if I want to override it, so let's say no to this one and then select the next one here. So now if I quit my game, uh, everything is saved and I can actually exit uh, the editor or the game and start up again the, the next day. And then hit load and say okay I came to this part here and then hit load. You see, I have my guns in my hands, exactly as I had before, the same ammo count as I had before. The weapons that I had acquired, the sniper in this case, in this exact um, same amount. And I'm just gonna kill the sky. Um, whatever I have in my socket or holsters, they are also gonna be there. Uh, and the people that I killed, I killed the one on top here and up there, they're also dead now. So the two remaining guys, they are actually spawners, spawn AI, so they will um, spawn eventually anyway. Anything I drop in the world is also going to be persisted. So if I now hit save and let's make a new save game here and save and then quit. And when I come back here and say, okay, I want to save where I came to, the rock passage, for example, which we just saved, I'm going to have my things 
back and the exact ammo count that I had when I dropped it is going to be there and yeah well Whee! kaboom Okay, so that was basically what I had to show for this time. Um, I guess I will be seeing you guys in probably a few weeks. I uh, have a lot of stuff to work on, but uh, stay tuned and see you soon again. Bye-bye.